The 18th Russell C. Palmer Cup presented by Chris Cody's Golf Shop got underway at the Country Club of Waterbury this past Tuesday afternoon with round number three. It would be the defending champ, Rick Dowling, who would be trying to put himself in good position here. As you see him on the tee box on one in round three, stripes one down the middle of the fairway. And then here on the approach shot on one, puts one just within a few yards of the pin, as you can see off in the distance there. And then Dowling with a birdie putt here on one. He's able to put that one into the bottom of the cup as the defending champ was rolling here early on. Then on the flip side of things, Austin Silly, who was the co-leader coming into day number two, would struggle early after bogeying two, comes up well short on this birdie putt here. But a man taking advantage of the things happening behind him was Chris Fosdick. Tough birdie putt there on six. He's able to put that one into the bottom of the cup. The young man from Virginia making his presence felt. And the trio I just talked about, taking advantage of the par threes. Here you see... Rick Dowling, a birdie putt here on eight. He's able to get that one to go as Dowling was continuing to stay in the lead pack of this one. And then you see Fosdick just talked about him. A monster birdie putt here on 12, bending that one into the bottom of the cup. And then Austin Silly, after a tremendous drive on 14, puts that one within a couple of feet. He's able to tap that one in. And then we talked about Fosdick, perhaps the shot of the day here on 14. A monster 30-footer. From the young man out of Virginia, he gets that one to go as he was making his charge on the back nine. Then here on 16, Austin Silly misses that putt as him and Dowling in that final pairing would end up struggling, and that would allow Fosdick to save par there on 17 and head into the final hole, just needing to maintain that pace he was setting. And then Dowling, long birdie putt, not able to get that one to go. He would end up missing that putt and dropping a shot, and then Fosdick. Comes up on 18, putting himself in good position. Just needed to be patient, and that's exactly what he did. Gives himself a good two-putt opportunity there. That's exactly what he ends up doing, knocking that one in for par. As he would have to wait in the clubhouse after posting a score of one over for the tournament. But it would be Rick Dowling and Austin Silly who would struggle in the late stages. Dowling tapping in for double bogey there, and Silly dropping a shot on 17. Chris Fosdick would add another trophy to his trophy case as the 2021 Russell C. Palmer Cup champion. I mean, it means a lot because I, I've i played the, my whole season down at UVA. First tournament was rough, kind of played pretty pretty solid in between. Nothing, uh, one, one tournament I finished under par, the others were on tough courses, had decent finishes, and then the final tournament, I kind of lost my iron game, started hooking a little bit, and not the not the end I wanted unfortunately just missed nationals by a few shots and then which allowed me to come back home come here and finally this final round I felt like my game was back together so it means a lot there you see your final leaderboard Fosdick wins the tournament at one over silly and Dowling fall to two and three over respectively and finish in second and third Brian Ahern in that final pairing would come home and finish in fourth with plus four and then Thomas McCarthy at plus seven would round out the top five.